show. I'm Amon. Ah, <laughs> for real. <laughs> Let's get it, y'all. So welcome to our show, man. Yes, y'all come. Look, we gonna make you laugh. Listen, we got we got some gems to drop. Everything, y'all. Yes. yes. Right. And we can take y'all to the next level, man. We just. <laughs> Trying to, you know, show black beauty, you know, That's all. Or a black couple, you know, trying to get in it, grinding together, and you know how we get through this stuff every day. And, every day, and we got some, we got a lot of stuff coming y'all way. Travel vlogs, I mean, everything, y'all. Just everything y'all want to see, man. We trying to bring y'all into our world, yes. and and yes, it's not pretty, but she, we make it happen, you know. So today we will be doing a Q and A, just yes. so y'all, just bring y'all into our world. Come kinda, aboard. Yes, but get to know us a little better, okay. Yes. So y'all, you know, just sit back, and, you know. And we can't forget to tell, shout out our dude Tyrell. He's going to be asking us all the questions. Yes. And, and we want him to dive in. I want him to just prune all the juice. Because we don't know what he's asking. We, but you know, like, we're going to answer the questions, like, truthfully. <laughs> and if y'all can't tell, we nervous. But <laughs> we got, I, I got Tyrell. He's going to answer the questions. And we're going to just give y'all the juice. Because I know y'all want that drama. And we want to give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> we want to get it to you. So, Alright, so the first question is What's the best part about being together? <laughs> you want me to go first? Nah, go don't first. worry. <laughs> I'll tell you. I think the best part about being with a man, with my baby, my dookie, uh, I probably say that we can fight and argue. I mean, I'm talking about like borderline break up. I'm talking about, boy, why you want to divide everything? And still turn around and just and make everything back good, bro. Cause like a lot of people think like relationships supposed to be perfect, but they're not, bro. Like it's the person that go through the storm with you and that you can get through a storm with. And like she calls storms, and I call storms. But no matter what, we still figure out a way to keep pushing and turn it all around. Cause if a re or if a relationship is not tested, it's fake. It's artificial. So that's I think is the best part about being with her. Like even though we be borderline ready just to leave, we still figure out a way to make it work. Yes, I feel like the love just keeps us together. Yeah. It conquers. You can't steal my question. You need to get your own. <laughs> no, I ain't. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Okay, so <laughs> what I was get your own. What I would say would be the best part about being with this man right here is I mean because. He my best friend, honestly. He really is my best friend. Like, I do, he get on my nerves, like, a lot. He do get on my nerves, you know. He's a lot to deal with. But at the end of the day, he my best friend. Like, I can go to him about anything. And, like, he just always find a way to calm me down and soothe me. Like, I can be call him in a panic and just be so frustrated and irritated. And it's like, after we get off the phone or after I talk to him, like, after I go to, like, this is my person. You know, it's just like, everything just seems so better and just, it just seems so, like, I could just, Breathe. Oh, so. that's so sweet. <laughs> that was sweet. So, when and where was the first kiss? Oh, I got it. Oh, let me paint the picture. So, first of all, <laughs> it was at, like, if, you, if you're not from Alabama, I mean, from Birmingham, it was at the Krispy Kreme Donut at, uh, in East Lake. <laughs> so, you know, she was trying to play hard to get, you know. So, we seeing out there, we, um, we in um, my car. And she was like, uh, she know, she like, I was asking her to be my girlfriend officially. And, you know, she was trying to play hard to get, you know, like, you know. And then, somehow, I got to say yes, I'm going to be your girlfriend. And then I was like, okay, big kiss on it. If we got to kiss on it. If we, if we can't kiss on it, we can't sign, seal, and deliver <laughs> the whole thing. So, that's how it was. And then after that, cause it was it was sweet, cause she had just got through the glade down there. It was we had just caught the hot sign and everything, so it was perfect. It was like a real movie. My baby had little crumbs on the lip. Please, <laughs> that's so embarrassing. <laughs> but it was sweet and delicious, and hot and ready. Oh Lord. oh my God, yeah. It was it was. Well, that's how he remember it, okay? That's not how you remember it? Okay, I remember it that way, too, but Perez is a person. He he like kissing. Me, I'm, I'm not like a kisser. Oh. So, he just kind of took me by surprise. Like, you know, he's a... He's a he's a man that like he that he demands things. It's like he just like yeah. So you know he just kind of changed my perspective on it because I don't like kissing. You know so he just like yeah this is you my girlfriend. 
you know, this is what it is. We got a kiss on it. I'm like, what? But, you know, it was, you know, he's. It was magically delicious women. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Let the people know. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what are some weaknesses that you think that you guys help each other out with? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go. You want to go first? I, I, go, I, go first. I got mine. See, I go first. I let the world know. See, I yeah. go first. So, I feel like um, a weakness that I feel like Perez has is um he's like, he's. He's more aggressive in his approach, if that makes sense. So, Is like, that a weakness? yes, I feel like he's more aggressive. Like, where I, I feel like I'm more su subtle, like, you know, I handle things, you know, I gotta talk it out and things like that. But, for example, like, if he's having a disagreement with someone, or if I'm having a disagreement with someone, and I tell him about it, it's like he's more aggressive and like he wanna like fight about it. He wanna like, it's just like he wanna argue. You know, he don't wanna kinda just like, and it, it, it aggravates me sometimes. Sometimes I like to do that approach. But in all situations, I just don't feel like every situation like needs to be aggressive, needs to be like handled with just, oh, let's fight, let's do this. Like I just don't like all that. Like I like a different approach. Cause I feel like sometimes you can kill people with kindness and you know you can you know you can kill things by just talking and speaking. Like, you know, that's power to me. I feel like by me <laughs> speaking to you and me telling you off by not having to it's be aggressive time. with you, I feel like that's like it's just it's my you time. know, it just displays a different type of Because you yeah. being a dead horse. My turn. Strength. My turn. Mm -hmm. I feel like yours is the complete opposite. I feel like sometimes she want to be political when we need to crack some few eggs. Because, you know, I, I understand that, but sometimes, bro, that shit get on my nerves. Like, one incident we just recently had, like, somebody want, said something about her. I wanted to just, my, like, it's like I wanted to jump out my skin and just, like, why? But my baby, she is a, a political. She don't want to do that rah rah bullshit, man. Like, and I get that, like, cause I feel like we this that's the pros and cons of like, like when she don't want to do the physical shit, I do it, and when I don't, like, she be on the, on the more political thing. So I feel like it, we both balance each other out on that thing, but. Oh, it just made me so sick. And like, it aggravates me. Like, it aggravates me so bad to the point sometimes I walk away from him. Because I just be like, praise no. I don't like that. Like, I just be like, oh, my God, you is doing the most. I just be like, oh, you so ghetto. And I feel like You know, like it irritates sometimes. me because, like, please don't do all this. And like, I just I be wanting her to just say like, something. Like, I don't just, bring that type of energy. I, got, I bought her a whole gun because, like, mm -mm. that shit ain't going to work. And where we from, like, in murder ham, that shit ain't going to work. That shit is not going to work. Mm -hmm. Like, people, people... They know who, and that's why my baby got her nine in her purse. So, <clears throat> what is a fantasy that you guys want to do? Mm. Next question, because she know what I want, and she, she already told me that. <laughs> and then, she, I already know her fantasy, and that was me. So, uh, well, next question, well. please. Thank you, Tyria. <laughs> Thank you. Well, next question. Lord. Oh. Okay, so, <sighs> the last and final question. Yes. Put it on me. How did you guys meet? Ooh. You want me to go first? You go ahead. You got to play. Oh, man. Let me tell y'all a story, man. Like, when I tell you, bro, it, it go down in the DM. <laughs> it go down in the DM. So, originally, man, like, bro, I've been, I, like, I was working on her, for, uh, like, trying to get her to mess with me. Like, it started, like, in November. And then, like, because she didn't want to mess with me, like, I'm going to tell y'all the truth, like, so y'all know, like, for real, I was married, like, I went, like, like, married, married, like, we were going through a divorce or whatever, and she didn't want to mess with me until I had my divorce finalized, and, like, that was an amazing setback for her, which I understood, because don't nobody, you know, like, that's, uh, like, she felt like I was in limbo, she wanted to make sure I was gone, gone. So, like, I had to wait. So like she finally like really gave me a chance. Like I working on for November and she literally wrote me on New Year's Day at like three o'clock in the morning as talking about why I ain't see you at church. I'm like what? First of all, I asked him that. Why? I asked him that because I asked him that because you know what time it is at three o'clock in the morning. I'm no, no, I asked him why I ain't see him at church because like I was saying on his story that like he was actually going to the church that I was going so like he was like he he was visiting so I was just like thought he was like 
a church person, <laughs> you know? So I'm just like, I am a church person. All times, you know, I kind of expected to see him, you know, New Year's on church, like, you know, in church. So I kind of just, you know. So anywho, so um, like, during the church thing, like she asked me that, and like I was like, it's New Year's, I'm not gonna be at church, but not knowing like it during this time, like I'm really going through the lowest part of my life. So when she came, she gave me, she gave me uh some uplifting. So it gave me some, you know, something to look forward to. So uh, I had we started writing, and then the first time we met, like I had bought some products from her. She was selling, um, you know. It's a real hustle right here. So she had sold me. Uh, so that was the first time we physically like met in person. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like at first, I mean, I did think he was like, you thought that was cute. But you know, it was just like he was in like a situation. You know, mm -hmm. let's be clear. You know, he was actively going through a divorce. Okay, mm -hmm. like they wasn't living together. They wasn't together. Mm -hmm. Like publicly, they was not together. Like everybody knew that they was like separate. Yeah. So, you know, let's get that out there. I don't do that. I'm not that girl. Again, yeah, I'm just not, saying, right. you know. Yeah, like, I'm telling you, when, when she wrote me, bro, like, I had to get a whole resume, and then, like. Oh, yeah, I did. He did. He and did. then, she, I told her, I, I was, like, going through a divorce. She said, skirt. I'm like, I can hear, like, like I can literally hear through, the like, the DM. Like, you know, you can see the little bubbles. And I can see I just hop on and hop off, and then hop back on and hop off and say, nah, you need to handle that first. And then, like, so please don't get that, like, that, that picture of her, because she really right. did not want to mess with me, because that, and I, that hurt. But I kept working, and you know. How long did that, you work? You no, know, I told them. I started in November. And, but somehow in New Year's, you want to, you know, <laughs> go on and get your mind right. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. whatever. So, but you yeah. know, so, but, you know, but so no, she yeah. was like, she did not want to just talk to me. And I feel like, like really what made And then, like, even then, like, when we did start talking, she used to hide my face with emojis. Like, we'll be on a trip. <laughs> like, I'll be getting high. Like, I'll be, you can hear my voice in the background. And then you can't tell, but I got a whole bunch of tattoos. So, niggas know it's me. Like, niggas, like, they used to be calling me, like, niggas, we know this. You, like, but. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, right. So, like, okay, my thing is, like I said, I mean, I did think he was attractive and I did want to talk to him, but it was just like, that was kind of like what was holding me back. And, you know, when I wrote him on um, New Year's, it was just like, just write him, you know, because at that point, I, I, I wouldn't say I was at the lowest point of my life, but I was just like kind of going through like the emotions and just kind of, you know, Going through what I was going through, so I just wrote him, you know, because he just he always he was a person that would they would write you every morning on Facebook. Good oh, morning. Oh no, hell no. Nah. Oh, she <laughs> like, like yes. Oh no. Good morning. Like, good morning. I was not a good morning ass. Yes, he was. I was not no. He was morning. a good morning. <laughs> I was not a good you morning. You uh, uh, I don't react to a bitch. I react to a bitch. I'm not no good morning ass. Okay, man. so first you gonna sit up here and lie. In every story, it was a good night, good morning. Then, then what made it so crazy how physically, the first physical meet is, okay, I sell like sweatsuits, like men's sweatsuits, right? And so, like, he, you know, he wanted to buy some. He, like, well, he he act like he wanted to buy some. He did buy some, though. Like, he, you know. But, you know, he was just like, you know, I want to buy some. I gave him the location where I was selling the merchandise at. And, you know, he pulled up. He brought his baby with him. And, you know, I'm like, okay, you know. You know, like I just, you know, I love seeing a man be like a man, you know. I'm so okay. It just, you know, something about that. So I'm like, okay. They kind of like pull me in a little bit. Just a little bit. And I'm just like, okay, you know. But I still want to let it be known. I was not no good morning, gorgeous ass nigga. Like, I was not that. Like, I may have reacted to a picture and a video here and now and then, but I was never a good morning, good night ass nigga. Okay. Well, that, like, that, and that what he wants y'all to believe. That's okay, baby. Well, see, it worked then. You see what she hit, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's basically how we met. Yeah, yeah that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Yes. Don't forget to what, like, comment, and please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a video. And we just thank you guys for coming to our channel. Um, This is our first YouTube video. So and don't forget to tell about the social know, media. Yes, okay, social media. This is our, But what I was saying was this is our first YouTube video. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, we thank you for the support. Um, You can follow me at um, on Facebook. I, I'm on Jane. So it's Z-H-A-N-E. Um, yes, and then. Oh, you follow me at my same mouth. That's my, uh, my first and last name. But I prefer to be called Perez. You can follow me on Instagram at Chosen 
underscore one underscore 27 the one is spelled out the 27 is the numbers uh, then you can also go follow me on my uh, website carry the ultimate service app because we do we deliver on demand services to consumers then my baby is a real hustler she sell weeds she sell motherfucking <laughs> everything oh. like I, I, I waste trainers like everything like if she get it, she sell it. Like, even try to sell me a couple times, but she... <laughs> Shut up. But anyway, follow us, y'all. Um, and also, you can follow me on Instagram at Amon's Hair Extensions. Um, follow us. Um, keep in contact with us. And also, we'll put this in the description. And also, both of our links, Kyrie the Ultimate Service app. And then also, my um, Amon's Hair Extension link, we'll both put those in the description. So, you know where to if you want to support yeah, man. We so thank you guys. Thank See y'all next time. Stay dangerous out there. <laughs> hey, no, we play strictly offense, no defense. Stay All dangerous, bro. No, do not be safe. Stay dangerous. What he said. Yeah. Peace out. Peace out, man. Mm -hmm.